Ah, you gotta accept your packages, you know. Uh, yeah, all right, I'll accept But you keep, you're keeping me walking too, you know. I'm keeping you busy? Yeah. You scratch yeah. my back, I scratch yours. Yeah, exactly, that's what it is. Somebody asked in the comments what this um, black bag is that's always on my hip. This thing is just a little like camera pouch. It's where I keep my point and shoot. And this is just too bulky to like fit in a pocket. You know, it's like that's a lot to deal with. Owen says I look like a grandpa for keeping it on my waist. Yesterday this company called Moment sent me this cute little thing. And you can see how tiny that is. And in here, boop. Boop. Is a tiny iPhone camera lens. It clips on like that and it's like this is the wide angle lens so it looks like this instead of like this. But I honestly don't know if I can actually deal with carrying anything else on my waist. I'm starting to feel like Batman with all these like attachments on my belt. So I just yesterday finished a new video and Anyways, it's like a short video about how I made these Google glasses. So I thought I would take like a few minutes of today's vlog and give like a little bit of behind the scenes perspective on Google Glass. So I was a pretty early adopter when it came to Google Glass. Uh, what the heck was that? This is one of my early pairs. This is with Google's frame on it. Like I thought the whole face computer thing was super dumb. I still think it's super dumb. But using a Google Glass as a video camera was incredible. Literally anything you saw with your eyes, you'd go like this and then you could film whatever you're seeing. And there was like a year of my life where I literally like wore these things all the time and I was able to film everything. In fact, I made a video, I'll link it, I'll link it here. All shot on Google Glass of me running around the world. Sure. This is some footage from Amsterdam when I was there last year with my friend Jack Harry's. Let's see, where's Jack's handsome face? But it's all captured from my perspective. This clip is just called Highest People Ever. <laughs> is that a real one? Yeah. <laughs> and you got gold braces? I do have gold braces, yeah. Yeah, cool. Yeah, yeah, man. <laughs> So nice to meet you guys. Those are just like the two most stoned human beings on planet Earth. And like Jack and I were just walking around Amsterdam, we ran into them, and I happened to film them. So that's why I made these, because I just like, I loved the camera, but I couldn't stand the ridicule. So I thought if I made them and made them look more like, like my regular glasses that I could get away with it. This is the final build. Um, they're like super st sturdy and rigid and they're pretty tough. Um, they fit me really well, they're super comfortable. These lenses are like transitions, so when you go into sunlight, they turn into sunglasses. And I don't wear them so much anymore because I did it for a year and a half. I don't know why else, what else to do with them. Watch the video if you haven't seen it yet. And I would say make your own Google glasses like mine, but that's a terrible idea. Do not do that. Every day, it's lunch in the same place. Not that I mind it, but every day, it's lunch at the same place. This invitation here, you specifically are cordially invited to the ceremonious, oh wow, that's a lot of words. Anyways, tonight, 7 p.m. for Cortland Alley. Cortland Alley is directly behind my office here. What's going on out there? There's a lot of people. A lot of people. So many people. Crazy, right? Crazy. I'm gonna go down there and check this scene out. All right, let's go see what I can find down there. Have a good night. Take care, man. Great scene. This really plays into what I was saying earlier this week about how there's always something going on in this town. Hey, buddy. Thank you. 
rock and roll. Little, chaotic, mad, wonderful. That's the actual museum that they just opened there. Well, that's Nicholas Megalis, but Hi. that is there's the museum. Something in, there's something happening in there. It's a brush. Someone's singing. Machine gun sound is confetti being fired from the sky. What's up, handsome? Yes, what's up, Casey? Uh, what's up, man? How are you? Oh, is it that time already? <laughs> hey, there she is. Yeah, I'm like back. Maybe you remember my aunt from past vlogs, <laughs> the one in Las Vegas. I'm so much happier at home. Neve, sorry. Neve Shulman. This is. Wait, wait. This is your, this it's is my your... debut on, on vlog. What <laughs> number of vlog will this be? No. This is number 69. Whoa. 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 Let's get in it. Yeah, well, you don't keep track anymore. <laughs> sexy music. Okay. You look great. Okay. Nice. <laughs> I've been meaning to sex it up, Neve. Yeah. You needed me. Okay. Thank you. For gracing you. Thank you. Thank you. They seem there's like something a little off with them. I can't place it. They fit me so well. Though. They do fit you well. They do fit you well. Good to see you. Bye, India. Bye. Did you have fun? Yes. Good. I like things like that. It's in Thailand. Yeah. Do we look like we're on a date right now? Yeah. Okay, we... Hi, Scott. Good to see you. God, what an amazing city this is. Congratulations. Thank you, Case. It looked amazing down there. Thank you. That whole thing was this man's doing, not this guy. This guy. Congrats, man. Thanks, buddy. It really was incredible. Bye, guys. Have a good night. Bye, Casey. Bye, Casey.